Welcome back to 5410 Africa, the channel that helps you travel Africa. I'm Nick from Namibia and in this video I'm showing you the night bands in Botswana. Welcome to the Ngaipans. I just arrived, just went through the entry point. It's only about 10 kilometers away from the Puruhuru gate. Easy entry, fill in the register, show your vouchers and you're in. Nothing much there, they couldn't even give me a map. Again, I'm on a photo of a copy of a copy, but the roads seem way less complicated. And then I just wanted to stop to show you the road conditions. <laughs> if you're wondering how deep this is, <laughs> that's my first. <laughs> so yeah, it's more of the same. Frank is loving it. 11 out of 10 to Frank, 11 out of 10 to the general grabbers. They're just loving this. five kilometers of the worst roads <laughs> I've, rid I've driven in a while. When I mean, you go on the cut line and it's just thick sand and you're struggling <laughs> and then you get onto the, the last piece of road, the last 17 kilometers and it's thick sand corrugation, thick sand corrugation. And, and you sort of get angry at yourself because you're thinking, is this worth it? And then you arrive at this oasis. I mean, look at this, literally an oasis in the middle of nowhere. And then you hear this weird sound of something slurping water. And you realize <laughs> there's an elephant less than 50 meters away drinking water. A massive bull elephant. Two, two elephants. <laughs> setting up my camp I decided to go for a ride. The good news is once you're inside uh, the Ngai pans, the road's actually quite good. I mean, it's this hardened pan surface, this clay surface, perfect roads. So no 4x4 even required. But the second good thing is there's only one working water hole in the entire park. So you're guaranteed views like this. One, two, three, four elephant and a giraffe. And it's about 20 past three now and it's gonna camp you until about half past five. And I bet you every animal in like a 10 or 20 kilometer radius is going to come here before sunset. So that's it uh, for day one. That was pretty productive. Two, three hours of game viewing and we got all of that. That is amazing. Strategically for the winter time, this is perfect. This entire area only has one water hole. <laughs> that's just, that's ridiculous. I will be back again tomorrow morning. I will be back again tomorrow afternoon. Now I'm heading back. I am going to 
first navigate this terrible bit of road. <laughs> Head back to camp, hot chocolate and the snooze. Catch you all tomorrow. back to the night pants waterhole nothing happening at the moment just after seven o'clock 7 30 and the plan is simply to camp here for two or three hours and then maybe do a drive around night pants show you what that's all about maybe find one or two of those wild camping spots because south camp is not the only campsites available and then head back to south camp show you south camp itself and that will be our day Back at the campsite, that wasn't too bad for a morning's game viewing. Some zebra, wildebeest, springbok. Well, definitely, I'm pretty sure we'll find elephant again this afternoon. Now, while I'm at the campsite, just quickly show you around. That's my site. See, there's a bry stand, fire pit, and shade. <laughs> okay, that's the ablutions, basins, toilet, shower with hot water. So there's six, six sites here. There's two sites outside on that side, two more sites, three more sites, three more sites, three more sites in the back there. Basically like a prehistoric lake that dried up a very long time and now it's just formed these massive grass plains that just runs for kilometers and kilometers and kilometers. I can only imagine during the rainy season when all of this is green, the abundance of animal life, the game, the wildlife. Animals you can expect, supposedly a lion, leopard, cheetah, jackal, battered foxes. Those are the main predator types. And then obviously the animals I've shown you, lots of elephant, springbok, wildebeest, zebra, kudu, oryx, the usual suspects. This is one of the wild camping sites at Ipans. This is a hot tub site NX03. And as you can see, it's, it's pretty wild. <laughs> this is remote. There's no one within maybe 10 or 15 kilometers. The road to get here is atrocious, but <laughs> I thought I stepped on some. This, that's it. There's nothing else. Imagine this at night. Hot up in X03.
for dropping in with those elephant shots. And I thought I missed it after that initial elephant. But they just kept on coming and coming and coming. Tomorrow's going to be a short one. Break up the camp and then head to Nata. I'll probably stop at Bain's Baobab on my way down to the main gate. And that will be it for the night bands. I'm guessing I am at the Kuriakam, Kuriakam, Kuriakam Pans. On my way to the Bains Boabups, Boabups, <laughs> Bains Boabups on that side. Uh, was I not alone? Had I one or two land cruisers or land rovers with me? I would have taken the more adventurous route, but I'm alone, there's no way. You can see some people tried and quickly turned around. And that's why there's a road running all around the pan. Was that drive worth it? Hell yes! Look at this, this is Bain's Bawabubs in the southern part of the Pans. And this is just magical, majestical, it's like fairy-like. And this is just, I understand why this place is singled out on the map. You should definitely go. And that wraps up my stay at the Ngaipans National Park. Getting it simple, it's on the Mahun Francis Town Road, reception 35 kilometers, and you're at South Campsite. Road is bad, sandy, corrugated. You'll definitely need a 4x4, but chances of getting stuck is almost zero. Facilities, South Campsite, extremely basic you have a place to bry or a fire pit that's it nothing else there's ablutions with hot water at south camp reception there's wi-fi available as well as a little shop there's cell phone signal at the main gate nothing inside the camp don't go to the night pans if you are uncomfortable with driving on kilometers of sand don't go in there if you're worried about your vehicle getting scratched because it will during the winter like now inside is perfect driving conditions you don't even need 4x4 the pan is solid rock hard in winter i guess all of that just turns muddy and ugly and that's about all the information i can give you if there's anything i missed i will put it in the description below as i always do so go check that out thank you for watching after an excellent stay at the night bands national park i'm nick from namibia and you'll be watching 54 africa mm -hmm.